Today is the 53rd anniversary of when man first stepped on the moon. Did you know Northern Arizona played a major role in it? Yeah, this is pretty cool. The Apollo 11 astronauts trained in Flagstaff. Now Team 12's Crystal Henderson gets to learn from an astronaut trainer herself. Fire. We're following in the bootsteps of the Apollo astronauts who trained right here at Cinder Lake before the first moon mission. And Lauren, you train astronauts. Yeah, Flagstaff is a fantastic place to train astronauts. We have access to a lot of different planetary analogs right here. Can you show me the ins and outs? Absolutely. Yeah. So you can start to see some of these craters and you can tell it's really hard to see them until you're right up on top of them. Oh yeah. Uh, it looks like a flat field and you don't realize there's these big depressions. And these are real? Craters? Yes, they were all blown up to exactly replicate part of the moon. Let's be like an astronaut. <laughs> and so you can see how something like this would be really challenging on the moon, and you probably would not attempt to go into a crater like this. Back in the 60s, they basically detonated a lot of dynamite with the right overlapping age relationships to exactly simulate part of the Apollo 11 landing site. This is a big boy. Look at this one. How do they take samples on the moon? Do they like bring vials with them or how do they get those samples? It was a lot of uh, coring and then also some of it was just taking a shovel, putting it into sample bag. Right. And maybe like a sampling kind of like this? Yep. There's still questions about, you know, the moon's formation and evolution, how recently it was active both volcanically and tectonically. Uh, so those are some of the questions that we're trying to figure out. Every sample that we get provides some really interesting information about the geochemistry of the moon and its evolution. So any place you go will drastically improve our knowledge. And the next moon mission? Planned for 2024. We're going back to the moon. 2024. Yep. In 1969, this was the lunar landing site. And today, it's still being used to train the next generation of astronauts. Mission accomplished.